I'm Casey Donovan and welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. On a Tuesday, our theme is On a Roll, exploring mindfulness tips to give you energy and momentum. Tonight we're going to talk about the opposite of energy, rest. An emotion that we can all experience at night. Have you ever felt lonely, even when your house is full? Have you ever felt lonely, even when you're laying next to your partner? According to experts, it's not always a sign of a bad relationship. You can be in love and still feel this way. So, how can mindfulness help? Ruben Neyman is a psychologist and sleep and dream specialist at the University of Arizona. He says our inability to collectively or communally fall asleep is to blame. As children, we instinctively know that falling asleep is a social activity. When we're allowed, we chat to our siblings until someone drifts off. As adults, we don't fall asleep so freely. We get into bed, we turn off the light, we say goodnight. We make falling asleep a one-person activity. That can make us nocturnally lonely, says Reuben. His advice? Experiment with slipping away together. Next time you go to bed with somebody else, don't say goodnight. Switch off the lights. Close your eyes. Assume your sleeping position. But keep chatting to each other. Have no expectations. If one person falls asleep in the middle of a conversation, it really doesn't matter. In fact, it can be better. Imagine the door to your conversation remains open throughout the entire night, says Reuben. You're still connected, even when you're not conscious. Forget good manners and feel less lonely tonight. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Come back tomorrow for another mood-boosting episode. How to be mindfully medicated. Until then, space out. Thank you.